Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again and uh, thanks for engaging with these um, words, these reflections. Uh, let me just say that over the course of the next couple of weeks I'm not necessarily going to be in uh, internet land so I may not be able to post some of these on Facebook but they will be available on uh, the Nalsey Baptist Church uh, YouTube page channel so have a look at that uh, if you can't find, find me on Facebook. Anyway, um, we were looking at last week at the, or beginning to look at the elements of armour that Paul talks about uh, and as we stand firm uh, for God. And uh, so we continue with that in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 15. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Uh, I talked last week about uh, the necessity to stand firm. Well, in order to stand firm, we need a good grip on our uh, feet. We need a good grip on the uh, sandals, if you imagine a, a Roman, a typical Roman soldier, uh, with the, the kind of hobnail sandals that enabled him uh, to, to be able to stand solidly on slippery ground and uh, to be able to walk well and march well um, along, along the roads that the Romans were famous for. Um, for the Christian, our feet are fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So again, a, a good soldier will be ready, will be constantly ready to move forward for whatever lies ahead. And so um, whatever is on his feet needs to be, he needs to be able to do that, he needs to be able to, to kind of um, march well, march comfortably. Our sandals, our feet are fitted with the gospel of peace. And this gospel, this good news that we know through Jesus, is what prepares us to move forward. So that when an opportunity arises, we know because of our, the, our, our knowledge in Jesus Christ, our own um, salvation experience or conversion experience, we're able to use that to speak into, to speak peace into whatever situation we're coming across. Uh, and, and that's, I think, what part of what Paul is getting at here. Our feet are, are to be fitted with uh, not only a knowledge of that gospel of peace, but a readiness to share it, a readiness to, to kind of use that in the battle, the spiritual battles that we are uh, involved in. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's about the long and the short of it, really. Uh, for now, let's um, make sure that we, we stand firm, and to enable us to stand firm, we need to be able to stand on something. We need to be able to stand on something solid. Well, uh, the solid ground is made up of this gospel, this good news message that, uh, that God has, has offered us through the person of Jesus. So let's stand firm in the knowledge of that and in our readiness to share that. And let's look for peaceful ways, peace-filled ways, uh, to do that. Let me pray. Father God, thank you so much for our salvation. Thank you for the gospel message that we've heard and received and that we can, we're able to live by. Thank you for all that that means in terms of our relationship with you. Help us now to be ready to share that uh, with others. For, for your glory we pray. Amen. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.